What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, in our last episode, we did quite a few things. We succeeded, we did, uh, you know, what any trainer would do, and that is be successful, and yes, we got ourselves our third badge right here, and look at them, they're all glimmering and shiny and all that stuff, that's freaking awesome. Not only that, but we got ourselves a new team member, Gaia number two, and well, three Pokemon involved last episode, so I kind of feel successful right now, I really am. Anywho, let's get the heck out of here. Let's go right ahead and take on the whole world yet again, because we're going to be going to Salacion Town, and well, there's really nothing uh, else that we can do here except for finding that disturbance in the force. Now, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. He's like, I have a professor friend, and this is what he told me. If you leave a pair of Pokemon with the daycare, sometimes eggs are found. Or things like eggs, anyway. I wonder what, uh, how my pal Professor Elm is doing these days. Well, I can tell you this, he's doing pretty good. He was, he was always uh, a quiet sort and didn't really stand out. That is true. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and... Oh, wow, seriously. Seriously. Ta-da! Get me waiting again, Draven. Let's see how much you, tougher you got. Uh, let's see how much tougher you and you, I, I have it gotten right here, right now. Okay, so let's go right ahead and battle this guy. I really don't feel like reading right now, so yeah, let's go ahead and just kick this guy's butt. Here it is, taking on Barry, and uh, well, he's gonna be coming out with this Terravia. So good thing is that we came out with Electro Star. So let's go right ahead and speed this through right here with Spark Attack, and here comes his double team. So. Endeavor, okay. Alright, so I gotta stop this shit talking. So, here we go. Dragon Rage for the win, and now it is a bad, bad thing. Because we're gonna destroy you for ending my Pokemon like that, just like this. Look at that, Ponyta's coming out. And let's go with Poseidon. Poseidon needs some more points. Since last episode, he kind of got defeated a little. And here comes Grottle, and Grottle, yeah. Let's see, so Togepi doesn't have a flying-type move just yet. So, let's go with Gaia number two and go with a confusion attack and wow okay toothless let's go finish him off that's right for the win and just like that we get ourselves to level 25 and this all works out for the best okay what just happened you're telling me i lost yes you did anywho huh it goes to show my surefire winning strategy doesn't work say hey draven remember what i told you before Make sure all your attacks hit. Avoid any, er, avoid every enemy attack. I thought that it was gonna be a wicked strategy, but it doesn't work uh, worth beans. I guess I have to grind it out and toughen up my team just a bit in time. Anyways, I'm off to Salacion Town. See you, Draven. You'll be shocked of my growth and the next time we meet. No, I won't. Okay, so I am going to go back to the Pokemon Center because, well, yeah, I got two Pokemon painted, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back, guys, and, well, while we were at the Pokemon Center, we decided to go stock up on a few items, grab a few things, and then, you know, give the experience to Togepi because we kind of needed to learn quite a few moves and all that stuff. Now, the funny thing about this game, too, is that for the longest time, I thought that this route was the only route that you can actually get Ralts. That's why, you know, I waited so long. And then, well, yeah, Ralts appeared out of thin air last episode, and that was that was pretty hilarious right there. I, I, I didn't believe it. So what we're going to do is, yes, we're going to keep on battling the way we are. And, yeah, a fire-type Pokemon would actually suffice right here, but we don't have a fire-type. And thanks to Sinnoh, they don't really have too many fire-types right here. So we're going to have to make do with what we got. And uh, another thing, too, is we're trying... Yeah, we're, we're gonna try and, uh, let's see, we're gonna try and, uh, wait on the whole evolution thing with, uh, or the experience thing with, uh, with, uh, what was it, Gaia number two, because, remember, it, it could still evolve at level 30 to Guard Devour, and that is something that we don't want to do, we need to get a Dawnstone in order for it to evolve, and, uh, hmm. And I, and I do get that, you know, I do have two Pokemon that need, uh, what was it, shiny stones? Don't worry, in-game, we will be able to find both those, those stones. It's just going to take us a while before anything of that sort can actually happen. Now, talk to this guy. He's like, hmm, a good rod is really good. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Intellectual, intellectual minds, and here we are. We're getting ourselves the good rod. And, well, let's see. We don't need any kind of, a uh, yeah, we don't need any kind of advice for this stuff. And I don't think this guy's going to play us right now. Hold on. 
Let's see, do you jog every morning? Well, I do. So I believe that this guy will battle you in the morning time, and right now it's, well, noon, so we don't really get to battle these guys. So let's go right ahead and grab these berries. And, uh, well, let's see, there we go, alrighty, so, let's go right ahead and continue on right here. We got twins that we need to battle, so let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go with, let's go with our good old buddy Toothless, and go with Poseidon right here. And, let's see what these twins are all about. They're looking at me and they're like, we're tough, and, uh, we're tough because we battle together. We're gonna crunch and munch all you up. Huh, crunch and munch us. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on the twins, and here comes Bonsley and Mime Jr. If you guys don't remember. Generation 4 introduces new baby Pokemon, like Mime Jr. and Bonsley, for, you know, the specific Pokemon that we already talked about. You know, Mr. Mime, and good old pseudo Wudo. So here we go, Dragon Rage. And that, of course, takes away Mime Jr., because, well... Got a baby Pokemon. It's up to level f or HP 40, and well, would you look at that, P Poseidon, finally growing to level 30. Togepi, level 25, and here comes a Bubble Beam. So let's speed that up, and just like that, we win the twins. Okay. So let's see. Let's go right ahead and grab this little item, and look at that. We found ourselves our first Hyper Potion. That's usually a good thing. And uh, well, let's see. Talk to this person. Hi, <laughs> I'm a po Pokemon. Not really. Not really. Not a Pokemon, not a Pikachu, not anything. So here we are taking on Danielle. And she is coming out with her, well, her Pikachu right here. And the funny thing is, guys, that you can actually you can actually get a Pikachu in this game right here and then just breed it out to a Pichu, which is cool. And that's probably what I'm intending to do later on. And, well, we are caught with our pants down again. So we're going to be taking on another Another breeder, and here we go. Dragon Rage for the win. Here comes a Cleffa. Let's go with Electro Star. And let's go with a Spark Attack right here. Look at that. And here comes an Evolution. So let's go with Rosemon. And Rosemon going with Magical Leaf. There we go. And Mime Jr. will be coming out. So let's go right ahead and give Poseidon a little love. And give a Bubble Beam. And just like that, we win. Alrighty. Okay. And when I was joking the other day, a wild Pokemon changed after me. I swear, I ran to the top of the water and I, I, I was so freaked out. That's that's hilarious. Now, if you guys can tell, right here, there is a there is a broken, crumbling tower made of stone. There seems to be a spot where that would be perfect a uh, perfect fit for the odd keystone. Would you like to put the odd keystone in there? I would, but there is a uh, certain requirements. For this thing, because this is exactly where you'll you'll be finding Spirit Tomb, which uh, hopefully we will be covering later on. So I'm gonna decline on that. And well, let's see. There's still more things to actually find. There's a sap tree right there. And here we get ourselves an ether. And well, let's see. What else can we actually find right here? Ah, look at this. We got more berries. You gotta love the berries. Not not you know Barry, our friend, our so-called friend. You know that guy. But this berry. So here we go. Berries again. And, well, let's see. What else can we actually find? Let's see. Well, we're going to get attacked by Pokemon either way. So let's just go right ahead and see what this is all about. As you guys can see, we're going to need our bike for this one right here. And there we go. Yeah, they always make it so hard for you. Okay, so yeah. Need to press it again. Yeah, that's the reason why they say it's uncontrollable. And... There we go, and there it is. Okay, so here we get ourselves a calcium. And, well, let's get off the bike right here, because we don't really need to do much anymore. And, well, let's speed this up. And here we're, we're going to find the evolution of our lord and savior. That's right, Bibero. And, say, honey, where'd you come from? What kinds of Pokemon are you with? I'm, on the, I'm with a nice team. Pretty nice team. And, well, I'm getting a text message, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, you gotta, you guys gotta love the text message that you know I get every single time, and it just gets annoying. It does. And well, let's see. Let's go with a takedown attack, and just like that, we win. Look at that. All right. Anywho, let's go ahead and heal up our good old buddy. Now that we've bought ourselves quite a few more stuff. 
Okay, so that's that. And, well, let's see. There's an individual waiting right there, but there's people right here. And we're going to be talking to this uh, this couple, this lovely couple, and they're like, uh, you're not supposed to intrude on my time with Sue. <laughs> you want to battle me? I will if I could team with Ty. Okay. So here we go. Double battle. And, well, let's see. Let's go with a takedown onto this guy, and let's go with a metal claw onto that guy. So there we go. Recoil. Togepi grows to level 26. And let's go with the same old attacks right here. And just like that, we win. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. He's going to be like, where the departed Pokemon sleep, this is the Lost Tower. Hmm. And, well, there is a Pokeball right there. It looks like to me I'm going to need myself my good old Lord and Savior. Now, here we are in Salacion Town. And this guy. Yahoo! Hey, Draven. I got something cool. I'll show you a special favor. As a special favor. Huh. What the... Wait, wait, what's this all about? I got some seals, but I forgot to put them on. All right. It's because I I was at the ruins. The ruins are cool. You have to go check it out. I even found the hidden machine defog. Anyways, I'll battle you another time. See ya. God, you got to love that kid. You have to love that kid. So here we are in Salacion Town. This place is famous for, you know, the, the Pokemon Daycare, where you can actually breed your Pokemon in this game. You know, you're going to be finding a lot of Kanto Pokemon. This should be like Kanto number two. And some of these Kanto Pokemon can now produce baby Pokemon. So, as you guys can see, here is the Pokemon Daycare. And, well, what else can we actually find right here? Pretty much a whole bunch of ranchers, a whole bunch of cowboys and all that stuff. So what we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to be healing up our Pokemon. Taking out another one for the cut technique, and then, uh, yeah, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back, and I replaced Gaia number two for the time being, because, like I said before, we're gonna be moderating its leveling, just because, well, level 30, it can't evolve into Guard Devour, and, uh, here we got the TM-47 47 Steel Wing, which could be a good, uh, a good use for our Togepi, if it can actually learn it. So, again, here we are in Salacion Town, and, like I said, this place is definitely the place to, to go. So, let's see. If you're talking to this guy, Pokemon, let's you think. Okay, now, we're going to go right here. Let's go ahead and talk to everybody in every single house. And, oh, oh welcome. Saw the notice outside about hiring, right? Is that a Pokedex there? So you must know, Professor Rowan. You're just a Pokemon searching expert we, we've been looking for. Burmy, I want you to bring me that one. You must bring it today, or we're not going to be able to run our main article. I'll pay you with a heart scale and some Pokeballs for it. Now, Burmy is one of the Pokemon you can actually find in the Sap Tree, so you just got to be aware of, you know, where to find it. Obviously, I'm not going to take the time to do that. Heart scales, yes. They, they are pretty rare. They come by pretty rare right here. And... Well, this guy's talking about something nothing. Now, there is a person right here. All right, we have the ruins. Why not take that? There is a person right here that will give you a Poke app. I just need to find them. So let's see. Let's talk to these people. Uh, we often, uh, every so often, and they will be found in the Pokemon Daycare, and they're found without anyone knowing how they got there. It's an enduring mystery. Is someone leaving them there? No, it's the Pokemon getting it on, like Donkey Kong. And uh, well, let's see. I don't think, I don't think we're gonna be getting any kind of information from anybody else. Let's see, what about this guy? Your encounters with your Pokemon can be considered a uh, history. There is a Pokete Poketech app called a Pokemon History. Use it to see your Pokemon's catches. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Pokemon History app. And I kind of want to show it to you guys right here. So, let's see. We got the steps. We got the calculator. We got this. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Damn, allergies are kicking up again. So as you guys can see, this is the Poke history right here where it tells you what Pokemon you've caught prior to, you know, many things. Like, the most recent Pokemon I got was Gabite through Evolution and then Togetic through Evolution and then, uh, what was it, Curlia through Evolution. And as you guys can see, I did get two Cur or two Ralts, a male and a female. And yeah, I have a Glagger. Yeah, I got a Glagger. Huh. Now, what other stuff that we get right here? This is the berry app where you can actually find different kinds of berries in the in the in the Sinnoh region. 
This is, of course, the Downsy machine that we got from Don a while back. And, uh, well, we're going to be going back to this one. Okay, so, let's see. I'm looking at the map right here. Yes, I am looking at the map right here. And it looks like, to me, we don't need a Pokemon with uh, Rock Smash or anything. So I'll be right back with you guys when we get Curlia back. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back outside. And now we're going to be going into the Silesian Ruins. And, uh, well, there's quite a few houses right here that you need to take a look at. Because I think there's one place where they will give you some seals. I don't think it's this house. Your Pokemon has a bashful nature. Did you know that Pokemon nature determines how it will grow? Yes, I did. Many of you guys have been yelling at me. And, uh, yeah, not not right here. So we're going to be going into the house down there. But the only problem is we kind of went through the wrong area. So, yes, we're going to be uh, going up and down, all around, and all that stuff. Giggity. And, uh, well, let's go right over here. And this one will lead us to this house right here. And what we will find is an individual that will give us a seal. You can customize Pokeballs by asphyxing seals on them. Oh, you don't have a seal case. Well, here you go. And there you go, guys. We get ourselves a seal case. Next time, seals, here you go. And I'll explain how the seals work. You'll need a Poke... Or you need a Poke uh, Center PC. Or a po yeah, a Pokemon Center PC. First, select your PC. Then check the ball captures in the PC menu. Next, choose the capsule and apply the seals as, as you wish. When you're done, put the capsule on the Pokeball. You can see the results, and you can use it in a Pokemon in battle. Hmm. That is so true, and well... This guy's talking about the Pokemon that look like letters, and uh, well, he will be giving you... He will be giving you lettered seals for every Pokemon, for every unknown that you capture, so that's always nice right there. Now, we got one more spot to actually take care of right here, so let's go right ahead and just run around yet again, and this time around... Let's see, we go right here, and there it is. We get ourselves a PP up, which will help us. So, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to go around yet again. So we're gonna go around and go into the Silesian ruins. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are in front of the Silesian ruins, and this place is, uh, well, it's well known for the unknown that come around here. We're talking about the whole alphabet plus the two new unknown exclamation part and uh exclamation point and question mark now this place is a, a bit this place is a bit what you might call it uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's a bit confusing but i'm gonna get by it the best way i know how obviously i got a handbook right here right in front of me just in case this actually happens so what's gonna happen right here is let's see we are in the first floor Let's go right ahead and take a look at every room, and if you see a stone, just try and uh, press A just in case. So let's see, let's see, where does C go to? Actually, let's go to A first. There's going to be some writing on the wall, and here we're going to be finding ourselves a Firestone, which can be used to evolve a specific Pokemon. Obviously, I got an Eevee, so that could be a Pokemon that can be evolved. And here you go, top right, lower left, top right, top left. Top left, lower left, and uh, yeah. That's basically telling you where to go in order to find, you know, key things. Now, I'm going to be going from room to room now that I got a handbook. And, you know, that way I can, like, you know, you know, get onto every single room. Now, if you talk to this guy, I heard the hidden machine defog was somewhere in these ruins. It's just that I seem to be lost what, with everything I'm looking at the same. Now what? How can I uh, get... Or how can I use help here? Hmm. Okay, so let's go right here. And... Talk to this. Nope, we got nothing. So we're going to go to F right here on the bottom portion. And this one will take us... Towards this place right here. Now I'm trying to look for F. Where the heck is F? I'm looking at the handbook right now, and oh, okay, there you are. So there's gonna be an individual waiting for us. He's like, "Ancient ruins are rife with unknown. There has to be a meaning, but its magnificence or significance eludes me, and that's gotten me cranky." Hmm. All right, so we're battling, and as many of you guys already know, Toothless is right in front, and just like that, we beat this guy. So let's go right ahead and go with Rosemon right here, and there we go with the magical leaf. And he's coming out with a Bronzor, so that, that right there is kind of like, 
Like, what are we gonna do about these Steel-type Pokémon when we battle them? That's the biggest question. For the first time, I'm not having any Fire-type Pokémon right here, so it's gonna be... gotta be a... kind of, kind of a, an adventure right here. So, let's see. We are in B to F. So, if we go to I... So, if we go to I right here, or, yeah, this is I right here. This will lead us to J, which will be down here. And it will lead us to this, which is nothing. But, there's a big booty butt. We're going to go to K right here. And K, where does K lead us? Okay, so that will lead us to an extra room right here. So we're going to be going here. And if you go down to these last two floors, there are single rooms with stones. And right here we'll be finding a water stone. And the top floor, I don't think there's going to be anything. But we should try. Let's see. There we go. And there's nothing. Okay, so... There's that. Let's go to I. And then K right here. And so here we are in K, a bigger f a bigger room. And if we go down to M right here, we're going to be looking at another stone. And this is where we're going to find the Thunderstone. Again, don't tempt me. I could just go with Evolutions because <laughs> Evolutions has its own team right there. And well, let's see. We're gonna go right here, there's nothing. And it looks like we're gonna have to go to N right here at the very end. Get it? N end. And here we go. We're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to stop being drunk right here. And if we go to P, there will be a single room right here that will lead us to nothing. If we go to Q, or O, I should say, that's O right there. It will lead us to this room right here, which uh, you know it's a single room bottom room floor. And if you look at this, friendship all lives tower other, or lives to create someone or something. And, it, okay, if you guys know what it means, then just comment down below, because obviously I cannot read. And here we're going to be finding ourselves a nugget. And here is the other one, a HM05 defog, which is a very useful move. And here we go with the Mind Plate, which is a psychic type, uh, you know, psychic type plate. Two beings of time and space set free by the original one. Okay, and here we go with an odd incense. And that right there is that. But we were supposed to go up here first. And this will, will lead us to the stone, and there's nothing. Okay, so it looks like to me we are done. Yeah, it looks like to be we're done. So now we got to go back. We got to go back and uh, share that defog with that individual. Now, if only <laughs> we could retrace our steps right here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. N. So we have to go to N. What does N look like? Okay, so N is right here. M K. There we go. K right here. And then we go to I. And that is an individual that we we just met before. So I comes out. Let's see. That's probably the wrong room. This is probably J. Oh no, there it is. Okay, so we meet the individual, and he's talking about the defog move, and he's gonna notice this, and he's like, "Hey, now look at here. What you have here is the hidden machine defog. Can you loan it to? A, uh, can you loan it to me real quick? I'll make I'll make it worth your while. And yes, we're gonna we're gonna teach it, or we're gonna give him defog, and from there. He's going to give us a green shard, and, well, I think that's pretty much it for that. So, let's get the heck out of here. And there we go. We have completed the Salacion Ruins. Now, there is one little thing that we need to talk about. It's that very top item right there. The only way you can get up there is if you actually collect all 28 shapes. You know, all 28 letters of the alphabet and all that stuff. Or... Yeah, basically that. So that's pretty much what it is, guys. Kind of sucks, but you know, it is it is a big uh, it is a big uh, what you call it uh, a rule right there. So what's gonna happen right now is I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and we're gonna get ready for the what was it the the Tower of Memory or something like that? What was it called? Uh, the 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 Lost Tower. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So we're back, and now we're gonna be going into this the Lost Tower. And the only way you can get through that area is if you actually have Defog, 
And we brought back our good old buddy Starblade for this situation right here. Now, if you talk to this lady, she's gonna be like, this is where spirits rest, and you must be quiet and respectful. We are quiet and respectful. And, well, we're gonna be going up here, and the fog buildup won't start until, quite possibly, you're at the very top right here, so... What we're gonna do is we're gonna still train our Pokemon right here. Obviously, I took Curlia out just for this situation, and well, we're gonna be getting attacked by this guy. He's gonna be like, huh, Ghost, get away, eek, help me! And, well, that right there is uh, something. So, here we're gonna be taking on Youngster, and he's got himself a Pokemon that is a little more powerful than I am, so we're gonna go with Togepri. And I completely forgot that, yes, Togepri does not have a flying type move, so. For old time's sake, let's go with Starblade. And, well, let's go with the wing attack right here. There we go. And here comes a Chatot. So let's go straight for Electro Star. And let's go with Spark. And here comes a Barbog. Now, obviously, this Pokemon is a bit of a curse to us because Electro type moves do not affect it. And Rosemond grows to level, what was it? Level 25, learning Giga Drain. So let's see. All right, let's go right ahead and take away growth for right now. I mean, we're gonna be strategic later on. So, oh yeah, forgot about that item. Let's go ahead and grab that. And here we get ourselves the Oval Stone. And that is not an evolutionary stone for, well, you know, for one Pokemon. But as you guys can see, the fog has thickened up. What we need to do now is we need to defog this place. Because if you guys don't defog, the fog will get crazy going into the battle, and yes, your accuracy is just going to go out of whack. You're not going to want that. So, here we have another a challenger. He's like, my Pokemon were taken from you. Team Galactic did it. Ever since, they've never forgiven their faces. Oh, wow. So, homeboy's got a vendetta. Okay, so here we go. Roughneck Kirby, and he's got himself a freaking, whatchamacallit, uh, a Gyarados on the back of his thing. Oh, my God. You know he means business. And, wow, this guy... <laughs> Using the same move as me, Togepri grows to level 27. And, well, let's go right ahead and grab this item while getting attacked by a Pokemon. As you guys can see, the Lost Tower, you can actually grab yourself a, a Ghost-type Pokemon. Some Pokemon here in the Lost Tower, you'll find Ghastly, Zubat, Duskull, other Pokemon like, let's see, like Golbat, you can actually find right here too. So just be aware of that if you guys want to capture one of these Pokemon. And, well, he's like, I can't explain it. Being here compels me to battle. It kind of does. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on another Pichu right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with Magical Leaf. And, well, here comes a Pikachu. So let's go with Toothless right here. That way we won't get affected by any kind of, you know, moves. And here we go, Sandstorm. Or Sand Tomb. Here we go. And let's go with a Dragon Rage for the win. And just like that. Coming out with another Pichu. Obviously, it doesn't have 40 HP. So there we go. We win. Alrighty. Okay, so who is next right here? And, well, let's see. Another foggy area right here. So let's go right ahead and use Starblade yet again with a Defog. And just like that, we are okay to battle, and we got double battles ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and start battling some people. We gotta love this, and of course, she has a Bonsly. A lot of these people like to use their, uh, or a lot of Poke fans like to use their baby Pokemon and all that, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so here we go. More battles, and it looks like to me, we gotta put one to sleep, and then get the other one, and there we go. Bubble Beam. And yes, you are asleep now. It's probably a good thing that we have Grass Whistle because, you know, we have something that paralyzes, something that puts us sleep, and yes, it actually helped us out later on with capturing some legendary Pokemon and all that stuff, so let's go ahead and grab this. Here we have the TM27 return. As many of you guys already know, this is our second return in the game, the first one being in the very first, you know, very first part of, well, at the very beginning, when Professor Rowan gave you one. So if you have a Pokemon with max attack, this is the way to go, and we're going to be going with Magical Leaf, and we're going to go with Murko right here. And there we go, and well, here we go again, double attack, and just like that, we win. Togepri at level 28, and it's learning Wish, so so far, it's not learning anything. It's really getting on my case right now, and <laughs> yeah, so let's go ahead and take away Yawn, and there we go. 
Anywho, let's move on right here. And it looks like to me we are at the very end of this whole section, so... Let's go right ahead and defog this place again. And let's go ahead and talk to this lady. Oh, the fog is gone, and with all... Uh, with it, all the doubt in my heart. This is my thanks, don't be shy, take it. Here we get ourselves a spell tag, which is very good for any kind of ghost type Pokemon, and that Fentina, it's hard to tell what she's thinking, but she has a compassionate heart. You know, she's a regular visitor. And let me make your, let me make your journey out of this place less frightening. Take this, and here we have a cleanse tag, which if you attach it to your po your first Pokemon, this right here will repel them a little bit better. And well, it looks like to me, we are completely done with this place. Yes, guys, it's not it's not a lot that you can actually get you can actually find right here. This is the reason why we're like you know putting in every single well putting everything in one episode that way like you know we get to the nitty gritty and unfortunately we cannot use an escape rope so thanks a lot. So let's get the heck out of here before we get attacked by Pokemon. So let's go ahead and get use a, re a repel. Let's go with a a regular repel because yes. Yes, regular repels, 100 steps. I'm pretty sure we can get it, get out of here in 100 steps, right? I don't know. Depending on me, I'm clumsy with this whole controller thing. And that right there was a missed, like, 10 steps right there. Holy bucket. And here we are towards the final section of this whole area. And, well, okay. So we made it out in 100 steps from those areas, including here. Okay. So there it is, guys. We have concluded our little adventure in the lost uh the lost tower now there is i think one more thing that i need to show you it might be around here somewhere actually it won't be here until well later later on in our in our post game i think so let's get the heck out of here and we're back baby so in the next episode we're gonna be going through more routes more battles more of everything thank you guys again for being supportive as always and uh yeah I got a merch store, so if you guys want to get some merch, support support the channel. It's right down there. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. See you guys.